You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Georgia is under a state of emergency. It follows last week's violent protests in downtown Atlanta. The city also on high alert as people across the country brace to see new video in a high profile police brutality case. If you show me the people you hang around, I can tell you exactly where you're headed. Atlanta-born rapper Young Dro hosting an open conversation on ways to stop violence. And this morning, teenagers are getting honest about the struggles they face. We have a very chilly start this morning with temperatures at or below the freezing mark in many spots. In fact, we have some 20s out there as well, but it's dry and temperatures will warm up this afternoon. We'll talk more about it in the full forecast straight ahead. We are following breaking news out of DeKalb County this morning, where right now officials just confirmed a man was found dead in an early morning fire. This happened just over an hour ago at a Creekside Corners apartment in Stonecrest that is right off Panola Road. Officials tell us a woman and child were able to get out safely. We have a crew headed to that scene right now. We'll bring you live updates coming your way at 726. Right now, people all over the country are waiting on the release of body camera video promised today in the death of Tyree Nichols. Less than 24 hours ago, five former Memphis police officers were arrested and charged with second degree murder. They're accused of beating Nichols after a traffic stop and he died a few days later. Georgia and other states across the country, they're on edge anticipating protests. Governor Kemp also issuing a state of emergency over concerns about last week's violent protests in Atlanta. Liza Lucas joins us now with the latest. Advocates and police across the country are on high alert, many anticipating outrage after the video showing Tyree Nichols' deadly encounter with Memphis police is released tonight. Atlanta police tell 11 Alive they are preparing for potential protests following the release of that video. 1,000 Georgia National Guard troops are already on emergency standby at the order of Governor Kemp following protests in Atlanta last weekend. Violence broke out Saturday in downtown after earlier clashes between activists and law enforcement over a controversial public safety training center. A state trooper was shot at that site earlier this month. The activist who allegedly shot him was also shot and killed. The governor's state of emergency remains in effect for the next two weeks with troops ready to be deployed. Atlanta police again monitoring the situation in Memphis and here very closely and local advocates tell 11 Alive they stand by Nichols family also urging for any protest to remain peaceful. Again that video is expected to be released tonight in downtown Atlanta sending it back to you. Liza, thank you. Speaking with your 11 minutes and nonstop news, a man is facing charges. He is accused of sexually assaulting a young girl at a Cobb County Park. Arrest warrants show that the girl told police that a man came up to her at Shaw Park last Saturday, offered her a bottle of water. She said drinking it made her dizzy. Police say the man pulled a knife on the child and sexually assaulted her. Officers say the suspect is homeless and was booked into the Cobb County Jail on felony charges. Later this morning, former Atlanta police officer James Burns will be in court. Burns is charged with shooting and killing 22-year-old Kane Rogers while responding to a suspicious person call back in 2016. Previously, Burns asked the state Supreme Court to toss that 2018 murder indictment. Earlier last year, the court upheld it. Today, more people will be able to get help from the federal government as they recover from a string of tornadoes earlier this month. FEMA is opening a recovery center in Henry County. Homeowners and businesses can apply for assistance. It'll be set up at the Locust Grove Recreation Center. And that was a look at your Friday morning headlines. Let's get ready to get that Friday forecast. Hey, Chesley. How you doing? Temperatures on the chilly side starting off this morning. You see it from our four essential times of the day. Starting off this morning right around 30 degrees here in the metro area. There's some outlying areas where temperatures are down into the 20s. So bundle up, folks. 44 degrees by noon on our way to near 50 for an afternoon high. Temperature will have mostly sunny skies all day long. Fair skies tonight will drop down to 43 degrees by 7 o'clock. Got to walk the dog. Got to do it, right? Wind starting off calm this morning, but we'll pick up a little bit this afternoon, up to about 10 miles per hour or less for today. So not as breezy as it was just yesterday. And so it will just feel a little bit better out there, especially with full sun instead of that mix of sun and clouds that we had. We'll see those winds really die off later on tonight, going back down to calm. And so that's going to allow those temperatures to escape once again. So we'll start off on the chilly side once again on Saturday morning. Be advised if you got to go out. Notice a few clouds up here to the north of us. Not going to make their way down to where we are. Even some few flurries coming out of those clouds up in western Tennessee and Kentucky. We're not going to look at any of that. You notice the high pressure off to the west of us. We have a westerly wind coming in. 
Uh, this will, uh, again, turn to die out later on tonight. We'll get back into a southerly flow as the high pressure moves to the east of us. We'll bring in some more of that low level moisture. But you're looking at dry sky again tomorrow. We'll see the clouds increase, again, thanks to that low level moisture, and the chance for rain starting to pick up a little bit as we head into Saturday, uh, Sunday afternoon. 60% chance for the rain, 20% chance Monday morning will clear out, and then another chance comes back to us by Tuesday. In fact, I think we're going to remain unsettled for much of next week. So we have to enjoy the sunshine while we have it today. Plenty of it around. Forecast track models showing that uh, nice right on through the rest of the afternoon. Even tonight, fair skies. We'll start off Saturday morning under mostly sunny skies. And then by the afternoon, a few high thin clouds will roll in. Now, that's not going to take away too much from our sunshine. Really, we'll see those clouds thicken up until we get to the evening. Overnight going into Sunday, you got mostly cloudy skies when you're making your way to church on Sunday morning. By the afternoon, and I'm thinking after two or three o'clock on Sunday, that's when the rain will start to push in. Light for the most part, that rain will be with us through the overnight going into Monday morning. Uh, by the Monday afternoon, we'll clear it out. And look at the temperatures. We modify a bit over the weekend with temperatures back into the 50s. Going to hit the 60s early next week and stay right there Tuesday, Wednesday. By Thursday, looking at a 50% chance of rain with 56 for the afternoon high. Remember the past so it's not repeated. Today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day, a time to pause to acknowledge the horrific events of the Holocaust and to honor all the lives lost. The Nazi regime killed 6 million Jews, two-thirds of Europe's Jewish population during World War II. This Holocaust Remembrance Day marks 78 years since soldiers liberated the Auschwitz concentration camp. Second gentleman, Douglas Emhoff, is traveling to Auschwitz in Poland. He is the first Jewish spouse of a president or vice president. Right now, people in South Fulton are hoping an eye-opening discussion can lead to change. Young people and parents all sharing their experiences with violence in their community. Molly Oak has more. It's clear plenty of people wanted to have this conversation with two lines stretching to the back of the auditorium behind me with people waiting to talk, wanting to share their final memories with their loved ones. The city of South Fulton mayor organized this town hall on youth violence. Atlanta born rapper Young Dro was there too, challenging parents to take control. People talked about young people killing other young people and how to stop all this violence. Meanwhile, teenagers even stood up to talk about why they think they need guns and why they think the violence keeps happening. And the mayor says they're working to give young people options other than violence. It's just even the playing field, you know what I'm saying? If somebody else got a gun out there, you want to have a gun too if it's a problem, because if you don't, you are already going to lose. And I wanted to make sure that we aren't just asking young people to put the guns down without putting something in their hands that is both positive and profitable. This is the first of a series of town halls the city of South Fulton will be holding. Back to you all. Molly, thank you. New this morning, moms and advocates are pushing for change to help families save on diapers. Children require at least 50 diaper changes a week, according to the National Diaper Bank Network. Helping mamas in the Georgia Early Education Alliance are getting ready and pushing for a diaper tax break for low-income families. What we're hoping is that um, lawmakers see this as a win for all of Georgia's children and that it will be a chance to alleviate some of the stress for these families. The push to help these families is happening across the country. Louisiana and Florida already eliminated or paused sales tax on diapers. Well, by noon today, we'll have plenty of sunshine around and temperatures will be at 44 degrees. You're going to need that light coat at least through this afternoon. Maybe if the temperature around 50 degrees, you may want to take that off. Maybe just open it up a bit. Winds will be a little bit lighter than they were just yesterday and we don't have as much in the way of clouds, so that 50 degree temperature will feel pretty good. By the time you're driving home, 46 with fair skies. Enjoy. We have made it through the week. It's the weekend. Yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine today. Enjoy your football. Go Have Eagles. a great day, Thanks everybody. Thanks for that green. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, anything for you, Chesley. Mm -hmm. Today's show is next. <laughs>